Hello and welcome to the GoHastings.com Wrestle Center. This is Stevie Breach coming to you live today. I uh, just wanted to give a little uh, Raw rundown. I can't believe how good Monday Night Raw was last night. If you look back on the show, there was really no jokes, uh, no skits, no segments, no crap. It was uh, nothing, uh, not really any filler on there. Uh, it was uh, really seven real good segments of, uh, you know... Just a, it was a good all-around wrestling show. One of the best Monday Night Raws in a, a real, real long time. Uh, no shockers, no nothing like that. Uh, no uh, real advancements on storylines, but just a really good all-around show. Started with Nexus coming out there. Um, basically, uh, just showing their force they put on Monday Night Raw. Uh, Wade Barrett uh, winning the uh, the main event the week before uh, was very very good. Uh, it showed that they're actually putting Wade Barrett at the top of the uh, you know the food chain in the WWE. He is the a uh, uh, main event talent to be reckoned with. Um, it, let's see, uh, Tarver T. Uh, was out there being a true force, and uh, Heath Slater. Um, I don't really honestly see what they see in Heath Slater, but I mean, if you, if you look back, he's pinned four of the top main event superstars in the WWE, and that stuff doesn't happen, uh, you know, by accident. I mean, look at, um, what they did with Evan Bourne after he pinned Sheamus. I mean, he shot to the top of the, uh, the WWE, like, uh, he was, he was, in that, uh, you know, close to that main event scene for a couple months before he dropped off. So, you know, this, this stuff doesn't happen by accident, so obviously WB has you know, major plans for Heath Slater coming along the way. Um, first match of the night was Morrison uh, against Jericho, and man, uh, everybody, you know, the, the rumors say that Jericho's leaving, that's, that's what it, it looks to me. Uh, he, he said that if he didn't win at the pay-per-view, that he would be, uh, you know, packing his bags and he'd leave the WB again because he is the best at what he does. But last night he was the best is what he does. He put over, you know, a future talent in WWE, John Morrison. That match was like money. That was a really, really great match. Uh, um, if you're just talking about all around wrestling, that's one for the ages right there. I hope you guys set the TVOs or, you know, set the DVD recorders. Because that was just a, a damn good match. Jericho at his best. Uh, he put Morrison over like butter, man. That was... Uh, that was money in the bank right there. Uh, it made Morrison look like a main event talent. Morrison got the beat. Uh, you know, one of the best wrestlers today. I know that his stock rose last night. Uh, I'm sure that with uh, Jericho leaving, it's going to open up that, that main event spot unless they bring somebody in. And I know that WWE would love to put the, uh, the pretty, boy, uh, pretty Boy Morrison over uh, like that. Uh, but just an all-around great wrestling match. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed that one because that was one for the ages right there. Uh, when Jericho's left, this is one of the reasons that uh, they're going to miss him. Um, I mean, just uh, just a guy that you know that you can write on the board uh, that, that he's got a match and you know it's going to deliver. Um, but uh, all around, uh, Jer with Jericho leaving is what I think is going to happen. That's a name that they're really going to miss in the WWE and I hopefully he can uh, come back as soon as possible. Uh, Divas title match, I like the way they did it. Most of the time when you're going into a pay-per-view, you pretty much know that who's set in the match is, you know, going to keep the champion. But the Alicia Fox promo when she came down to the ring, I really didn't like the 700 ballerina twirls the chick did on the way down there. Um, and especially during her promo, I like people just, you know, get down to the point of what they're saying. But, um, it worked. I mean, you actually believe that Alicia Fox was going to challenge Melina and that she had a, t a chance to take that title away. Uh, great. It was it was a good chicks match, and from there we moved on to Cena versus Gabriel. Justin Gabriel, I think, turned a lot of heads last night. That was a very good match. His moon salt off the top rope uh, on a Cena, even though he missed, that was a beautiful, beautiful textbook moon salt. Couldn't believe it. Um, you know the people that are. Uh, Saying that Cena sucks, they were, they were really getting heard last night. You could hear the uh, the John Cena and the You Suck Cena chants coming through real loud. Uh, I, I love it when you see the crowds get, get into the matches on Monday Night Raw on the pay-per-views. Uh, very, very cool. I, I've heard that if you uh, check out the Divas match or the Knockouts match on the TNA pay-per-view, I heard that the crowd was chanting masturbation. That's always funny. But uh, Cena versus Gabriel, awesome, awesome, good match. And then... The segment of the night in my book, um, uh, 
uh, The Miz and Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has come a long way for being just, you know, as what a lot of people call, uh, you know, the best wrestler out there today. Um, stepping into the WWE. The WWE is a whole nother monster of its own. Uh, it's more of an entertainment-based company. Uh, he's got he's got to get in there. He's got to deliver promos. On top of uh, giving good wrestling action, he's got to be funny. He's got to get crowd reaction. And that's exactly what he did last night. Uh, the Miz was at the top of his game. Also, uh, besides the point uh, when he when he sort of stuttered, but unless you really know your wrestling stuff and you know that uh, you know, uh, Daniel Bryan never took his place on SmackDown, it was SummerSlam. Um, you, you never really uh, miss the beat, but uh, I, I can't wait. Um, the, you know, the way that The Miz is putting Daniel Bryan over right now is huge. It, it's, it's, you know, cementing uh, you know, Daniel Bryan in that uh, mid-card slot where he's going to win the title uh, on Sunday. But, you know, by Miz losing this match, it's also going to, you know, to rocket ship him up the card. I mean, uh, it's, not, it's not hard. You can, it, it's not often. Uh, that you see somebody lose and and get pushed for the loss that often, but I, I you know it is very possible that we could see the Miz um, lose uh, lose the Dana Bryan lose the, the U.S. Championship on Sunday and also win the w, uh, WWE title at the same event. Um, then he had Kali versus Edge. This is sort of was your comedy match of the night uh, with uh, Edge, you know. Tormenting uh, the great Kali on the outside, uh, as Luke Cage uh, said, uh, Luke Cage 29 uh, said on YouTube. It's uh, honestly when you look at Edge, do you think he really gives a shit anymore? He's out there, comic. You know, Kali's not the best best wrestler in the world, but. Uh, I don't know. It was sort of funny at the same time. It was sort of retarded. So you know, take it for what you get. Edge won the match. Um, you got to be moving on. He's staying in the uh, the six pack challenge. Unlike Jericho, got kicked out um, earlier. Um, and then you get down to Orton versus Barrett. That was a really really good uh, all around match. Set up the uh, next week Raw Roulette, which I'm popping through the roof for. I love the Raw Roulette. That's it. You know. Just a great, uh, it's just a great way to set up a show. I mean, you never, you never know what's gonna happen unless you're working on the staff. Anybody who doesn't know that that wheel is a work is uh, uh, not good. <laughs> but um, you know, anytime you have a, a, a raw main event that's gonna be Orton uh, against Cena, you know it's gonna be damn good. Um, the only thing I'm thinking about is that it's a six-pack challenge, so more than likely, uh, hopefully it doesn't end in the queue, but I see all six guys running in the ring. Uh, but from here on out, what I think that, that Raw's doing, you know, for the pay-per-view, uh, there's no way in the world I don't see, uh, Chris Jericho getting back in. I think, I see him having a strong Raw next week, somehow winning his slot back in, um, uh, to the main event at uh, Night of Champions. I'm not sure if he'll beat Morrison or if he'll have to beat other uh, people or somebody else, but I, I see them letting Jericho go the right way. Um, it, it would be good, you know, if you saw Jericho win uh, the title. He actually wins the match, and then you have The Miz come out and cash in on him, and that's the reason why Jericho takes his leave of absence to go on the road with Fozzie. Hopefully signing another contract in the, uh, in the meantime. There's some people who say that he's actually getting moved to SmackDown, and that that, that is the reason why he's going to leave. Uh, he's still going to be able to do his dates. If you look, if you look at the uh, Fozzy European tour schedule, there's a lot of shows on Monday, and you know I guess it's possible if you look at it to do a you know do a concert in Europe on Monday and make it back for a Tuesday taping, but not weeks in a row. It, it, you know you might be able to do that once, maybe twice, but I don't think you want want to do it every week for a month, but. Um, I, I think for right now it's best that we uh, wave goodbye to Chris Jericho. Hopefully it won't be two years again before he comes back. Um, but um, I'm not ready to make that my guess, but that is a prediction you know, that I'm writing down on paper that you know, I could see happening. Uh, it would be cool to see Jericho win the title one more time at Night of Champions as his way of leaving, but then have The Miz come out, cash in on him. Uh, as a surprise, and have uh, Miz walk out the champion. With his uh, promo tonight, he looked like a million bucks. He looked like he should have already been the champion. Um, 
Um, but uh, that was my raw rundown. Stevie Breach checking out. Yeah, come on.